The first project in my portfolio is a web application called Pathfinder, which I developed with a group of friends in university. I worked mostly on the back end of this. Pathfinder starts by showing you 25 bubbles, each containing a unique word or phrase, in Swedish, my native language. These words represent traits or skills, which are visually distinguished by different colors. For example, some of the words might be medicine or analytical. You're then prompted to select the five words that resonate the most with you. Once you've made your choice and hit the submit button, Pathfinder works its magic. Based on the selected words, it suggests five potential job roles or career paths that align with those traits or skills. It's the most straightforward job matching tool I've ever seen. But because we were making this as part of a data-driven university course, what actually goes on behind the scenes is more complicated than you may think. The university course required us to make our own data-driven algorithm. So when you click submit, the descriptions of all job postings in Sweden from the year 2022 get matched with the five words you've selected. This happens in real time using a technique called cosine similarity, which as the name suggests, measures and ranks the similarity of the selected words with the dataset. Once you've received your five career recommendations, you're then able to click on one to prompt OpenAI's GPT for a general job description, a prediction of future demand, three good things about the job and how to land it. When we built this back in spring of 2023, integrating ChatGPT API into applications wasn't as widespread as it is today. By choosing to incorporate ChatGPT into Pathfinder, we ended up receiving a lot of attention, inside and even outside of the university. Simple ChatGPT wrappers are everywhere these days, but weren't at the time. We built Pathfinder using Python, Flask, Pandas and SKLearn in just three short weeks, and it's the very definition of a minimum viable product. Yet it ended up being massively valuable, something I can proudly show off to potential employers or business partners. Not only is it technically advanced due to the data-driven nature, but it's also got a very strong business case, showcasing a combination of skills that the employer or business partner might be looking for. The second project in my portfolio is called AI Odyssey and was just completed for my current and final university course before the big writing project starts anyways. This one I built myself. AI Odyssey works by presenting you with an initial story and two images which you'll use to make a decision. The story is generated by OpenAI's GPT which also prompts Dali for images. Simply read the story and then click an image to make a choice. The prompt used to generate that image is then fed back into GPT again, generating the next chain of story and images, and on it goes until you get bored. It's unique in the sense that I've never seen anything like it before, and showcases how generative AI might be used in video games, such as for asset generation or NPC dialogue. The most interesting part of this project is that both GPT 3.5 and GPT 4 sometimes generated image prompts that got blocked by OpenAI due to being unsafe. Not everything is appropriate to be a picture, but in the case of AI Odyssey, the filter was too sensitive and limited the creative freedom possible in the game. And just like Pathfinder, Pathfinder, it's a web application built in Python and Flask. There are two reasons for this. I'm good at using Python and Flask because I've used it many times before, and web pages are easy to share with others. These projects aren't openly hosted on the web due to API costs, but AI Odyssey is available openly on GitHub if you're interested, but you'll have to use your own API keys. Pathfinder, however, is still closed source. Some say that having a portfolio of projects is the best way to land at least your first tech job, so I hope this gave you some inspiration for creating yours. My best piece of advice is to use your time in education to create them, as both of my projects came about in university. What's in your portfolio? If you like this video, please click like and subscribe for more fast-paced coding videos with a good vibe.